Hi, my name is Jared. I'm going to teach you a little bit of uh, guitar finger exercises for the guitar, uh, for the guitar exercises class. Uh, okay, uh, so what I want you to do first is it's just going to be a really basic exercise for your fingers where, we're just, where it's not going to be a scale or it's not even going to probably sound all that good even when you get it fast. It's just about working out your fingers and getting them to work individually and each one by themselves. Uh, so first thing you're going to do is just to cover this really quick, uh, you don't know the names of your strings, E, A, D, G, B, E, that's the one starting closest to you to the one furthest away from you. Uh, I was always taught every angry dog growls before eating to help you remember that. Okay, but we're going to start on the thick E string. You have two E strings, so I always call this the thick E string. This is the skinny E string, thick E string. So we're going to start on the thick E string, and you're going to put your pointer finger, or your index finger, whatever you call it, on the first string. And you're just going to pluck that. Oh, it's all on the thick E string. Then next, use your middle finger and play the second fret. Then use your ring finger and play the third fret. And then use your pinky and play the fourth fret. So the way I did it right now, too, is I plucked, took a finger off, put the next one, took a finger off, put the next one, took a finger off. So it, just, it was just all my fingers in the right order, and I took them off as I went along. For extra credit, you could try keeping all of them down as you go. with a big stretch. And you don't have to be pressing all that hard with these or anything, but it's just about getting the form for your hand. Um, for younger students, if they have trouble with the pinky, you can also do it with just three fingers. I mean, adult students can do that too, but uh, usually your hand's big enough. Usually younger students might just have a problem with an extra big stretch with their pinky. So, once you've done that though, one, two, three, four, you do the same thing on the next string, the A string. So you move your hand over and you do one, two, three, four. Then you do the next string. One, two, three, four. Next string. One, two, three, four. Next string. Next string. And you want to try getting that all smooth, no pausing in between strings. And it just gets you to work out putting all your fingers in, or in, or in an order that they're going to be put in during a lot of different songs. Anything you practice forward, you should also practice it backwards. So starting with the pinky this time, you work your way backwards through the whole exercise. Four, three, two, one. 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 Practice it forwards and backwards in sequential order. <laughs> Or an, to make it an extra long exercise, every time you finish going forwards or going backwards, take your hand and scoot it up. Move every one of your fingers up one fret. Remember this way up, pitch goes up that way, so I always call this way up. Uh, so every time you finish one, you'll scoot it, you'll scoot it down, go up, up your neck. Um, and you, it lets you end up kind of creeping up in a weird zigzag pattern across your neck so that you can cover as many frets as possible with this one exercise. Just to show you, I'm just going to do a couple of frets. So I'm doing the first fret. And you wouldn't even want to stop here. You just immediately move your hand up and go backwards. You wouldn't stop here. Then you just move up and go forwards again. This time I'm not going to stop. So now I'm working my way backwards one fret higher. Forwards one fret higher. Backwards. And you get the idea. All the way, you can do as high as you want. I usually have everybody stop at fret 12, your double dotted fret. So um, try practicing that every day. It's a great warm up. Kind of get, get your fingers warmed up and flexed out. And uh, see, see if that makes a difference in your playing. Thank you.